This one is to try to help prevent injury when returning to the gym. You gotta be so good that they can't ignore you, especially the ones that ain't done shit for you. Yeah, you know exactly what I mean. They stab you in the back and then they ask why you're bleeding. Alan Roberts, every damn day, fitness, like, subscribe, click the notification bell, and share my videos. Thank you, motherfuckers. I appreciate you doing it. So today, I want to talk about getting back into the gym in a healthy way. So let's just say you haven't been to the gym in, I don't know, five, six, let's just say seven years, or fuck, even just if you haven't done an exercise, like, you know, the squat, deadlift, let's just say the bench press in like seven years. I wanted to give some advice on how to safely get back into the gym without tearing your shit the fuck up, okay? So... Let's just say there are some things that are taken care of. We're gonna, because we're gonna talk about just in the gym, just in the gym. So let's just say you have taken care of your nutrition, you're getting a proper amount of sleep, you're, you know, you're really, you're doing everything else correctly uh, that's, you know, that's required of you outside of the gym, because we're only gonna talk about in the fucking gym. So we're gonna use the bench press, like I said, just as an example. So, and this can apply to all of your exercises that you're getting back to because you haven't touched them in seven years. Uh, understand that your endurance for the exercises might not be the same. Approach it with a, with a you know a grain of caution because you know here's like again let's use the bench press for example. Let's just say you haven't done the bench press in seven years, and you try to treat it as if you did it I don't know last week. Uh, that bench press might be pissed at you and it might fucking tear your shit the fuck up. It might tear your shit the fuck up. So you need to treat it with fucking respect and understanding that you haven't touched it in a long fucking time and it missed you and now it's angry. So, what you should do is approach it without ego. You should, you know, I don't care if you used to bench press a certain amount of weight, you know, five, six, seven years ago. Uh, let's just say it was, you know, if it was like 275, or let's just say it was 315. I don't care if you used to bench press 315 seven fucking years ago. You shouldn't think about doing that in your first little while, you know, especially not your first day or two. That would be fucking stupid. So, what you should do, and I know a lot of gym bros are going to be like, oh, fuck this shit, but what you should do is use a fucking machine for the first couple weeks just on that exercise because your body needs, re needs to relearn how to do that shit. Basically, what, if you use a machine or a hammer strength machine, then the weight can only move in one fucking plane of motion, one fucking vector. That's physics, bitch. And then add on at a lower fucking weight, free weights, because when you have dumbbells or, or a barbell, it can move more proprioceptically, which means it can move more in space. And that is when you get tore the fuck up, especially if you forget that you haven't done it in forever and try to use weight that you used to use seven years ago that you haven't touched in seven fucking years. So the idea behind this, if you want to avoid injury after going back into the gym or even a particular exercise after a long layoff, is understand you haven't done it in a long fucking time and you should really understand that you are not superhuman and you could really fuck your shit up if you don't take shit easy at the fucking beginning. Fitness is not a fucking sprint. It is a fucking marathon. It'll be there for you. You will get out of shape, very out of shape, even if you stay in shape every other way, if you decide not to do a particular exercise for a long fucking time, you will not be good at that exercise anymore simply because you have not fucking done it in a while. And fitness is not owned, it is fucking rented. It's not like you can fucking just, you know, all of a sudden bench press 315 pounds and then not touch it for years and still own that fucking 315. You didn't pay the rent on that shit, it doesn't fucking belong to you anymore. So therefore you won't fucking have it anymore. So it is very important that you understand that this is a fucking process and that the process can go both fucking ways depending on how you fucking treat it. Be safe, lift smart, and lift, learn to lift a long fucking time. My name's Alan Roberts. This is Every Damn Day Fitness. Like and subscribe. Hit me up on Instagram at Every Damn Day Fitness. Hit me up on Twitter at Every Damn Day Fitness. I'm also on Facebook at Every Damn Day Fitness. And I'm on the internet at Every Damn Day Fitness.net. God damn.